Hiya. Welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see, we have got the Mercedes Benz aluminium wheel with a crack in it. And I've done this previously, actually. I've made a video on doing this before, but I do believe that as I've progressed as a YouTuber and got no better at all, um, I can make another one that's just as bad. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show repairing this wheel. Now, before you get too excited, there won't be any art shots or anything like that, because, well, I don't think there will. There might be, but there probably won't be, uh, because I haven't got the skills required to film such activities. But I will show the process the best I can. So first, the end of the crack wants to be drilled. Now, if you're unsure where the end of the crack is, then what you can do is you can grind the paint off it, and then if you put, run the TIG torch over it, it will open up the crack to make it more visible. But I'm pretty sure the end of the crack is going to be the... So that's what I'm going to drill. And if it's wrong, I'll just do it again. Yes. And next I'm just going to go ahead and put a nice slit in there. which leaves us with something like this. Now there is more to do before we can get the welding torch out. And that is, we need to get rid of this coating on both sides of the area where we intend to weld. And now we are ground the area in question down to the aluminum and also the area we want to use as an earthing point. So next, I'm just going to wipe this off with some, um, some of that shit on both sides to make it nice and lovely and clean. Yes, and then we are ready to weld. Now this is the weld I'm using and this is the settings I'm using to start off with. The power setting I've got on max to start with to get some burning in going on. But I'll probably will turn that down to about the one to get a pool going. I'm gonna start by welding the inside. And that leaves us with something like this. Now this isn't the neatest weld in the world, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna get ground off most of it anyway. So next, I need to turn the wheel over. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the welder turned up and I'm not gonna add any metal, but I'm gonna weld the outside to the inside. So you see how that's got quite a deep gouge in it there. I'm just gonna go over it with a welding torch without adding a filler rod. I'm going to burn it right through until, well, I'll show you what it looks like, until we've got something like this. So obviously that's undercut now, I've still got to cap it off. And what I've done is I've been going over and over it until, well, basically until any imperfections and shite get boiled out of the casting because aloe wheels do have a lot of crap built into them. And um, so now I need to clean that up with the grinder. So, and that is just to get rid of the imperfections that I spoke about, which have boiled out and stuck on top. So now we need to run another bead over the whole length of that, which leaves us with something like that. So next, we need to grind this off at the point where the tyre seals against and beads against. So the tyre seals against this part here, and it beads against this bit here. That's Basically, the tyre seals there, and then this bit stops it from coming off the side under pressure. So I'll grind this off here. Yes. So now, we are pretty much finished. So if we look on that side, we've got a nice smooth bit for the tyre to fit. Now, you can, you can actually take the weld off if you want to, but I just leave them on because more metal equals more strong and what have you. Even though there's arguments against that, but that's irrelevant. Uh, so next, all we're gonna do, you just give it a bit of pain. Yes, like a new one. So there we go, that is it. Um, that is that is how I weld wheels up. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the usual shit. 
I'll see you next time.